The top official for the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs was in Decatur earlier today for the rededication of the VA Medical Center. It now bears the name of the late Senator Max Cleland, who was also a decorated Vietnam veteran. After the ceremony, Fox 5's Rob Dorienzo pressed the VA secretary about some problems plaguing the facility and what's being done to fix them. Georgia's Senate delegation joined the Biden administration's Secretary of Veterans Affairs for a rededication of Atlanta's medical facility. We also took this opportunity to press them on some ongoing issues happening inside the center. Senator Joseph Maxwell Cleland, or Max, truly embodied service to the United States. Congress passed a bill to rename the VA Medical Center Indicator in his honor. Senator Max Cleland was a Silver Star and Bronze recipient, sacrificing both legs and an arm in Vietnam before coming the head of the VA in the Carter administration. We're recommitting ourselves to his vision of a VA that's accessible. President Biden's VA Secretary Dennis McDonough joined Senators John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock at the dedication ceremony Friday, honoring those who put their life on the line. Those who fought for us should not have to fight with us to get the benefits that they deserve. Secretary McDonough acknowledged they have their work cut out for them. For many veterans in Metro Atlanta, it's been hard to talk to a real person on the phone at the center. And they've been working to improve that. Our phone tree here has been underperforming. Because of their pressure over the course of the last year, we have expanded staffing for the call center uh, for routine access to the hospital. But there is still work left to be done. Earlier this year, a report showed that the Decatur VA facility got a patient rating of just two out of five in a quality index from the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services. We can never fight hard enough for those who have made the sacrifices that veterans have. Now, this was a bipartisan effort between both houses of Congress to get the center renamed in honor of the late Senator Cleland. Meanwhile, both senators tell me they're going to continue pressing for improvements both at this VA center and at VA centers nationwide. Indicator Rob Dorianzo, Fox 5 News.